What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I am here in my fruiting room, and what you see behind me here are some agaricus mushrooms that I'm growing in max yield bins. So if you saw my recent video, um, I mentioned that I was going to start experimenting with different agaricus mushrooms in the grow room. So there are a few differences when you're growing agaricus mushrooms compared to other gourmet varieties like these oysters behind me. Um, and one of them is that it is very exposed to the environment. So there's a lot of surface area that otherwise when you grow in bags isn't really an issue. This is part of my um, agaricus brunensis experiment. I'm doing a couple different additives to cocoa core to simulate a faux compost. Now doing that allows for um, bacteria and possible trichoderma and other fungus that are competing against the agaricus mushroom to form and that leads to fungus gnats. So one of the biggest problems in agaricus farms is fungus gnats and mitigating those fungus gnats which are a pain and almost impossible to get rid of. Right above me I have this beautiful pitcher plant that my wife got for my birthday so shout out to Addie but this is a natural way that you can mitigate fungus gnats so traditionally I use these um, little sticky pads and I'll hang them almost as a monitoring device but this is a tropical variety of pitcher plant and what it does is it produces these flowers that releases a scent and it attracts the insects to go into the flower here and you can see there's a couple fungus gnats that are floating in the bottom and the plant will degrade those insects and use them as nutrients and I thought that was a really cool way to introduce a symbiotic relationship to the grow room so this plant is inhaling or it's um, converting CO2 into oxygen which is the opposite of mushrooms so mushrooms are exhaling CO2 and the plant is using photosynthesis to convert this light and the CO2 in the room and it excretes off oxygen in exchange. So I hope you guys find this useful. I think that I was inspired by a, a speech from Trad Cotter where he has frogs in his grow rooms and those are an active way to mitigate bugs as well. So you can also use other biological reagents like nematodes um, so you can pour nematodes into the substrate and those are microscopic worms that will attack the larva of the fungus gnats. So that's another option. I also am going to continue to use these yellow sticky pads because the fungus gnats are attracted to yellow or even light blue like my shirt and it's a good way to monitor the amount of bugs. So you can see there's a couple fungus gnats here um, on this sticky mat and I will pay attention. Another active way that you can mitigate fungus gnats is with a vacuum cleaner. So if it does get out of hand you can use a shop vac and either leave it in the corner and another tip is getting a bug zapper which my friend Zach has in his grow setup. So those are a few different ways to mitigate fungus gnats. Um, it's important to monitor for them because you want to keep them as little as possible so that they can't spread contamination. Now this experiment right here, you can see the mycelium just starting to poke up through the surface of the compost and hopefully in a couple days I'll start to see some pins and I'll post this full experiment in a separate video. I'm also going to be doing some 
Agaricus brunensis and Agaricus blazii. So three different forms of mushrooms and my plan is to be able to grow them in these totes here so they can sit nicely on the shelf and grow in conjunction with these oyster mushrooms and this awesome pitcher plant here. Uh, I think there's a few different other varieties you can buy that are more terrestrial plants, but I like this one in particular because it kind of forms vines and hangs from the ceiling and it is a symbiotic plant inside the grow room. All right, guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Comment below if you have any more ideas on ways to mitigate fungus gnats. Um, the, mixing in these agaricus mushrooms is kind of risky, but as long as you get ahead of the curve, you should be able to battle those insects before they become a problem. All right, guys, give us a thumbs up. Check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, for living cultures and all of our other products. And stay tuned for more videos ahead. Until next time. Much love.